Hello, hello my good students. Welcome back to our War on the Sea Let's Play series as the US Naval Forces. Now, uh, carrying straight on from our previous episode, we can see here we have got a new task force, an Abdicom style task force, where I think all of our ships, I'm not too sure about the county, um, are bloody British ships, aren't they? <laughs> oh, that makes the little pictures inside me... Uh, not necessarily come alive, but you know, it, it makes me a tad happy to see all these uh, ships in the game. I'm really enjoying the models actually, look at this. Um, it's a very, very nice and detailed uh, model of the Crown Colony here. We've got the Jervises here as well. It's got a lot to them there, and actually lots of torpedoes as well. Very, very nice indeed. I can't wait to put these to good use. Um, we might use these as an aggressive scouting force. Uh, because we do only have a couple cruisers here, the uh, county being heavy and of course the Crown Colony being a decent light cruiser there. Um, certainly something we can use, uh, but like I say, perhaps a recon in force uh, task group, or task force rather, be the correct terminology there. Um, so, uh, without further ado, I think we're going to go straight into the uh, strategic map and see what we can do, because we do of course have uh, all of these central islands uh, in our uh, control now, so let's see where we can go from there. Now then, um, <laughs> because we have just loaded in the game, we can see uh, where nearby ships are. So we can see coming for Guadalcanal, likely coming for Guadalcanal, are three possible destroyers. Um, it reckons there might be two submarines there, it's rather strange. Um, so we're going to retreat back, we have already uh, put the order there, we're going to retreat anyway. No point in keeping these supply ships here, whether we knew they were there or not. Uh, the tambor is going in this direction anyway, whether these uh, ships are looking for us or not, we will find out. Uh, it's also hoping to intercept them. Might be, well, be actually be quite nice to get some use out of our tambor at some point uh, in our playthrough, wouldn't it? Um, otherwise, uh, we can see a submarine down here. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, not a lot we can do about that. We might try and hit it with some uh, bombers or something like we usually do. Otherwise, we're going to bring our invasion task force, our normal one, back up to Guadalcanal, maybe to protect uh, these ships and to try and intercept these ones uh, if we can do so. Um, in the meantime, we are going to launch some aircraft off of here. I'm actually going to launch uh, one or two Kingfishers back down here. Um, although, having said that, we probably be able to spot them if they are down here. What I'm actually going to do is send a Kingfisher up here. Uh, just in case there's a carrier up there. There is one about, but we do not know where exactly. Um, we can't launch any um, anything off of the New Orleans because it's saying our aircraft facilities are destroyed. That's not necessarily right, so they're on around 80 to 90 integrity. They've taken a hit, but they're not completely destroyed. Um, it is rather unfortunate there. So we are going to have to launch some float planes from... Uh, Renal Island, which we are looking to upgrade to level 3. It is now a level 2 port, um, which is very, very nice stuff. Uh, we're going to get this one to come out here. Uh, can we launch anything off of here? We can. Okay, interesting. Um, don't think there's much point in just launching the three Dauntlesses uh, against these ships. We're just going to get shot straight down. We're going to launch some Wildcats to scout around. And I think they're going to scout, actually, um, in this sort of direction here. They've got 680, don't they? So that will do there. I will launch more uh, planes in the meantime, I think, before we go over. Uh, let's launch some ducks. And uh, they could go, for the, um, could go for the submarine there, but I don't think it's too much of a bother. Do our SW forces... Oh, okay, these have some supplies and troops of Guadalcanal. Uh, I might bring those over to uh, the Florida Islands. We'll see how that goes. I'm not too sure about that yet. Our SW force is, of course, uh, scouting around as well. So, let's get going, shall we? Alrighty then, so um, our Task Force 8 coming off of the Florida Islands are being intercepted by some Mavises. This is not a problem, though. We saw something like this coming um, using our uh, powers of perception. <laughs> um, and we launched some Air Cobras from Guadalcanal to uh, help them out there. Should not be a problem at all. I do quite like the Air Cobras, actually. Um, they do have uh, a small or a not so great uh, endurance or fuel level. But, uh, you know, they're good for self-defense. Um, having a bit of trouble targeting these Mavises, just as I'm saying, they have a good for self-defense. So, if they're not bothering with that, they might get themselves shot down. Which is not very good at all. Not good for their health. Um, not entirely sure why they're doing that. Might just be difficult for them to get the height on as the Mavises are diving, of course. 
but hopefully once they turn around here they'll be able to get be able to uh, get a decent line on them hopefully get them on the backs stay out of their uh, AA please there we go excellent oh you got two in one lovely stuff and that is that excellent stuff well <laughs> a nice little way to kick off the episode there just some self-defense and hopefully they don't have much more to launch off of the uh, Florida Islands there so let's get back to the map and I'll get you back with a situation report Alrighty then, so um, I wasn't originally going to bother you with this uh, particular engagement, we're just defending our task force again from some uh, roofs with our air cobras, but uh, we appear to have some uh, orbital support, if you watch this line here, um, yeah, <laughs> how do you explain that, <laughs> devs what are you doing, <laughs> orbital bombardment in world war 2, yes please, <laughs> Yes, this should not be very difficult at all. We shot down two, uh, uh, two of them already, and the last one's just going to be here. I'll leave you with that, I think. Well, 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 everyone, this is a massive development. You know we've been looking for a carrier for quite a while. It's just stumbled right on top of us. I've no idea how the hell it's eluded our scousing uh, for so long, but this is a massive development, and actually a massive threat. Um... It's very tempting to get both of our task forces here to go in and engage that themselves. We do have the lightnings over here um, that I just by chance put out to scout around and protect our Abdicom task force. We might have to put them over um, here if we can cancel that. If we put them over like that maybe, no, okay, just a second. Uh, let's put them on invasion task force like that. Um, Otherwise, uh, what we're going to do is launch some mariners with, I think, um, armor-piercing bombs. Send them over there as well. We can launch aircraft from Guadalcanal. Just some, I think we're going to go with some uh, uh, some dauntlesses, of course. Going to launch them over here. They can wait around for the mariners to come up. Uh, can we launch anything decent off of here? We can launch some mariners. Excellent stuff. Uh, let's go for two more AP bombs. They can go straight over. I'm going to bring um, this task force back around a little bit actually to uh, let's bring it around here we could bring the abdicom task force up here as well um otherwise there's not really a lot else in range i might send some b-17s over uh just in case uh we're able to get over there what is the range actually uh, i forget we might not be able to make that uh we'll just about be able to make that uh tell let's go for it We'll chance it, see what happens. Uh, otherwise, I'll get back to you once we've uh, come in range of that. <laughs> see what happens, really. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to set it up okay. Okay, guys. <sighs> I'm absolutely shaking. <laughs> this could go either really, really well or really, really badly. <laughs> really, really badly. Um, you know what I've done. <laughs> you know what I've done. <laughs> We didn't have much choice, unfortunately. Let's see how close we are. Oh my fucking Christ, we're right on top of them. Um, <laughs> oh shit me. Um, <laughs> uh, give me two seconds. Um, the fuck am I going to do here? Um, smoke up, I think, with everything. Turn round. <laughs> Uh, get some torpedoes in the water. So let's identify them uh, if we can. What is that? That is, um, that looks like a Nagato actually. Lovely stuff. I mean, not lovely. Disgusting. Uh, Dauntlesses are right above them. Um, <sighs> shit me. Uh, should we take a second to see what they've actually got here, shall we? That's an Alba. Um, actually, let's, yeah, let's identify everything while we're at it. Um, that's an Alba. Uh, how do I know it's an Alba? Because... It has the um, catapult launcher up here, the raised deck on the back, and only six main battery guns like that. Um, we have a Miyoko over here, like this. Uh, we don't need to change that. In fact, just one across. Lovely stuff. Uh, we have what looked like a Nagato, um, and I'm pretty sure it is actually a Nagato. That's going to be the biggest uh, threat here, of course, especially since we're so close to it. Uh, let's go to BB, Congo, Fusa, Ise, Nagato. There we go. Lovely stuff. Um, do you have a few destroyers? What sort of carrier is this? Um, looks a bit like a Zwiho or something to me, actually. Let's have a look. Um, it'd be not that, that's light cruisers. Um, Chitose Nishin Ryuho Zwiho. There we go. Um, yeah, I think it is actually. 
That was very well, uh, well spotted. Let's make sure it's not Taiyo. Oh, it could be Zuiho or Taiyo. Okay, interesting. Um, what sort of destroyer forces do we have? That is, I think that's a Hatsuharu. Uh, I can tell it's a Hatsuharu because of the lack of torpedoes, not three torpedoes, and a single gun uh, turret on the back there. So let's identify that as such. Let's go to Hatsuharu. Where are you? Yeah, there we go. That's that lovely stuff. Um, what have we got over here? That's an Akizuki. Uh, oh Christ alive, they're going to have so much uh, AA. Um, <laughs> this is Kagero or Yugumo again, I think. Should we have a look? Um, make sure it's not a Shiratsu, or it could be a Sashio, actually. It's not a Shiratsu. Um, hmm, there's not really any difference between any of them, is there? Um, okay, and these are just uh, some sorts of uh, merchants, the rest of them. Okay, so it's not the biggest thing. They do have some zeros coming in. So we're going to have to take some time to get our lightnings on. Oh my Christ. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Um, yeah. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> what a time to be alive. This was probably a really bad idea. But uh, I'm sure we'll be able to pull things off. Uh, we just need to utilize everything under our command properly. And make sure we use our destroyer's torpedoes. Um, make sure we hit the right targets with our bombs. Um, and yeah, it should be okay, I think. The targets I, of course, want to hit with our bombs are the Nagato. And that is because um, I don't think our um, cruisers are going to be able to hurt the uh, Nagato too much there. So let's get our um, Dauntlesses on top of that immediately. I'm going to, just going to tell them to attack it automatically. Our Mariners are of course going to attack that uh, from a decent height as well. If we get that on like that. Uh, where are the other Mariners? Over here. Brilliant stuff. Okay, cool. They're not too far apart from each other. I'm, of course, worried about the zeros a little bit. What we're going to do is um, let that pass on. Uh, we're going to get to the Warrington. And that is actually going to target, I think, the Nagato. Um, if we take off fire at will, thank you. I forgot to do that. Let's take just a second. Like that. Okay, cool. Uh, this one can, yeah, fire at the Nagato, get some spotting on it to build up a solution. Not to hurt it, but just to build up a solution so that we can get some sort of torpedoes off of it, onto it, uh, like that. Uh, the Benham should do the same, actually. Let's take it off of the Hatsuharu and get onto the Nagato there, like that. How are our bombs going to look? Actually, you know what I don't want to see right now? Um... Brooklyn can go for, I think, the Alba here. Actually, uh, it's probably a good idea to try and go for one of their destroyers first. I'll keep it on that. Go for narrow spotting on that. Thank you. Same like that. New Orleans, I think, should definitely go for a heavy cruiser. And what we're going to do is go for the Alba, I think, because it is uh, the closest. Uh, let's go for that. I don't want you on HE. I want you on AP, like that. Marn. Um... Tell you what, get some spotting on the Hatsuharu first, and we'll see what we can do afterwards like that. Uh, Juno, definitely on a destroyer. Let's get on the Hatsuharu. Um, and yeah, just keep you as you are, I think, like that. Let's have a look at our bombs. Uh, a couple hits on the back there, nothing too big. Okay, let's get you straight out. Straight out, thank you. Uh, yeah, you're already doing exactly what I want you, wanted you to. Excellent stuff. Mariners, how you're looking? Uh, where are they? Where are they? Come on. Okay, this is going to be a bit slow. Yeah, uh, we've lost the lightning. That is rather unfortunate. Rather, rather unfortunate. I uh, might increase the speed of our mariners, actually. Just a tad, just a tad. Yeah, we're losing them. Uh, that's a shame, that's a shame. I would like to get one more bomb on, mate. That would be lovely stuff. Uh, Brooklyn suffers magazine explosion. No, 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 no. <laughs> No, 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 no. That's terrible. That's all of our front turrets out. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Why is this such a surprise to us? Ah, oh, dearie me. This is terrible. Actually terrible. Um, how are we looking? Yeah, everything's knocked out. We're going to lose this, this ship completely. We may just have to retreat, actually. 
may just have to retreat. It looks like they're thinking about it as well though. Yeah, completely lost to Brooklyn. That was not too much of a surprise there, actually. Um, hmm, what else are they shooting at here? We really need to increase our speed. Let's get to the uh, let's get to full speed on here, please. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, tell you what, let's fire here like that if we can. Uh, the um, we did not get any more hits onto the Nagato. Oh no. Oh come on guys, you can make it. I believe in you. I believe in you. What the fuck? Jesus Christ, that's got a massive noise to its guns. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh no, lost the Mariner. Oh, direct hit, but I don't think that was a magazine explosion. Let's take an action report. Um, ah, yeah, only minor damage. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, Benham's firing its torpedoes off. Yeah, we need. To, I'm just going to break with the New Orleans actually and get it to turn around as quickly as possible because it's just going to take some more damage otherwise. Uh, let's take it off a of spotting fire like that. Thank you. Guess it on the hour, but at least sink something. That'd be great stuff. Oh my god, New Orleans taking a magazine explosion as well. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this is so bad. So, so bad. Oh my god. <laughs> How are um, lightnings doing? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, not doing well at all. Uh, Christ alive, Christ alive. We came in far too close to them. Far, far too close to them. We needed a distance engagement. We're going to have to get rid of the New Orleans and retreat. Definitely going to have to retreat there. Okay, so we did manage to retreat out of there in the end. We did uh, turn around and get some massive smoke off. But I am now very scared about what they're going to do to Guadalcanal and the Florida Islands. They did look like they have a decent amount of troops with them there. We're just going to have to let them uh, do as they want, unfortunately. Oh, it's very, very annoying there. Very, very annoying. Um, but, you know, we handled that quite poorly. We should not have gone straight in like that uh, with our ships and should have just ignored them. We came in far, far too close there. But uh, otherwise, uh, all I can say is I'll get back to you with a strategic uh, report uh, later on and hopefully a successful report so that uh, we have uh, retreated well. So I'll see you in a second. But just as I press play, We've sighted finally the other carrier we spot spotted ages ago with our tambor. So we're going to have to go into that and have a look. We might be able to get something decent here. I can't see them uh, visually. Where are they? Oh, okay. How close is that? Um, let's tab that quickly. Uh, the range is 7 uh, kilometers. I would like a much better uh, facing than that. Uh, if we can turn around maybe like that, that would be great. Uh, and of course speed up. I will see you in a second, uh, hopefully we'll be in range. Well, we're certainly in range, but unfortunately our angle was not uh, sufficient enough to actually get um, a retreat off. So we're going to have to take our chances, I think, smell the blood and go straight for it. I'm going to launch all six torpedoes available, so one degree spread, and hopefully we'll be able to get this Ryuzo down. So we're going to fire like that oh lovely stuff and we are going to dive as soon as we get this off uh is there any particular thermal layer no there is not unfortunately the winds uh the sea state is five so let's down scope uh dive and hopefully we'll be okay uh before uh well, just as uh, we hit them with our uh, the, our torpedoes then, hopefully they do hit. So that would be lovely stuff. But, of course, they will be spotted by uh, this destroyer here first. Um, and that is going to be a problem. I am going to turn around with our tambor and try and tell it to get out. Um, and we'll see what happens, I think. Mm. Thank you. 
Why must we have duds? Why? <laughs> we might have sunk that if we didn't have those two duds. Ah, oh, that is so unlucky. That is so unlucky. But uh, we are going to have to retreat, I think. They're coming right on top of us here. Um, I really don't think it's a good idea to uh, come up to uh, periscope depth and get our rear torpedoes off. That would be absolutely stupid. Um, they don't seem to have spotted us, actually. Let's go to silent and reduce our speed down to zero. And see what happens, I think. Yeah, they're coming in for us. They're coming in for us. Oh dear me, well, we're going to have to uh, retreat, I think, and I'll see you on the strategic map. Alrighty then, well, uh, we did manage to retreat successfully, so what I'm going to do is actually try and circle around, see what happens there. We do have some mariners by chance in the area, scouting around for that, so we might turn around and see what we can do with that. I'm not hoping for anything too big there. We're going to tell our dive bombers and such to return to base there. Going to keep the lightnings out just in case, and we are retreating with Abdicom and Service Fleet. I'll get back to you in a second with a situation report and see what happens. Well, praise be to the RNG gods. <laughs> that means we really did not have to uh, take that engagement. As you can see, the carrier force is retreating. And you know what? That suits me just fine for now. Um, we, at least we have some sort of idea of where it might be, so we can hit it with air strikes in the future. Um, that does unfortunately mean that the loss of the Brooklyn there and the fact that we're going to have to send the New Orleans back to uh, release and repair is a massive shame and completely unnecessary there. We did not need to do that. And yeah, we'll own up to it. Yeah, I thought I'd just uh, try the spice, you know, but being bored for the last couple episodes <laughs> with nothing happening, you know, are you not entertained? <laughs> Um, we didn't actually catch sight of that um, carrier again over here. It was a Ryuzo in the end. Um, we're going to circle around and double check over for that. And of course carry on retreating down here. Um, and see what we can do with these B-17s that are coming up. We are losing the lightnings because they're out of fuel. But we can launch uh, some wildcats and such off of Guadalcanal. So we'll see what happens with that. Okay, so it's the uh, next morning. And we did not manage to sight the uh, enemy aircraft car with anything... Um, to hit it with, or just didn't size it at all, unfortunately. So, but we have just sighted off the uh, coast of Buna um, a submarine. We've got some uh, bow fighters with uh, uh, rockets, and we do have some Mitchells over here with some depth charges. So, we're going to tell them to come over here and increase their speed. Hopefully, oh, I said it was uh, possibly a um, okay, interesting. I said it was possibly an SS, a uh, submarine. Uh, the fog of war be playing tricks. Okay, um, so the Mitchells are absolutely useless because they do have depth charges, but the bow fighters um, do have rockets and we'll be able to deal with this. Um, so that should be absolutely fine. Easy stuff. I don't know how I'm feeling about this fog of war thing, uh, this new update. Um, if it is telling us things like this where it's, uh, you know, we had that one... Um, where it, was, it said it was a carrier and it was just a uh, oiler and I've got this one where it said it was a submarine it's very clearly not a submarine either um, it does make you think it does make you think uh, imagine if I had just launched uh, the um, Mitchells with uh, with depth charges it would have been uh, rather silly rather rather silly uh, we're going to tell these to come back round uh, tell them to form up and uh, come back round for another attack there just to strafe it no point in using Mitchells at all, they can return to base. Uh, forget these round and sink that like that. Okay, so uh, unfortunately I think it's going to be uh, all we have time for today. Maybe we can pick up that carrier again um, in the next episode. I have brought our tambour around to try and uh, catch it while it's in these straits here. Uh, because we were um, spotting these zeros going backwards and forwards uh, still in this sort of area. Uh, before we do leave though, should we look at our losses? Uh, we have of course only lost the Brooklyn and a Fletcher. Um, at this point in the game where we have sunk uh, all of these uh, destroyers, the Tone, uh, that full task force we saw, Miyoko and a few uh, submarines and such, I think that's not so bad. Uh, we are on day 17. I would have liked to have lost uh, less, for sure. <laughs> but I think for the, uh, the plans for the next episode will be to uh, sort out Rendell Island um, and get that to a level 3 port. Um, and of course try and hunt down this carrier group again and see what we can do about that. 
Um, so, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, it's been a rather spicy episode. I certainly need to break myself. Um, <laughs> I'd like to hear your feedback in the comments. Uh, thank you very much. It's all very much appreciated. Um, yeah, I've been the Edify Gamer, and I hope all your nights and days are auspicious. Goodbye.